step two can be very daunting because when you have to have nurses trained, that can be really difficult for hospitals. Hospitals are 24 hours, so they have to keep things going all the time. Each nurse has to have 20 hours of training, and that includes 15 hours of didactic education, and then they have to have five hours of supervised clinical experience, and that usually either is going to occur by them shadowing the IBCLC or in some kind of a skills training. It's not as simple as just putting the policies together. The education helped the staff maintain the vision and the mission of what we were trying to accomplish. We have a program with the University of Colorado, which is a website that the residents access. They will be scored on that, and we expect them to pass. And then when they're doing their newborn rotation, part of this training program is they spend a half a day and sometimes a day at the Lactation Foundation. It helps them understand what is out there for moms. How can they assist moms out there and refer them to this lactation consultant? For the hands-on training, that needs to be more one-on-one -on -one because the lactation consultant needs to make sure that the postpartum or nursery or L&D nurse understands about how to position the mom and the baby and make sure she's doing safe skin-to-skin -skin in the hospital setting. We have found that documentation of the training is a very large task, so it's important that the person in charge of the documentation is not the same person as the one who's actually doing the training. When I got to know the nurses and the, the maternity nurses and the lactation consultants, I decided why should I not reach out to them and let's see if we can create a collaborative training. And so that's what we did. We had three hospitals and then the City of Dallas WIC program and we created this training together to help meet step two of the five hours of clinical experience. Our workshops have six modules. Each module lasts about 20 minutes to address the style of the adult learner. The six modules consist of safe skin to skin, then we move on to position and latch. We move on from there to pumps, not only which breast pump to use, but when to use the correct pump and how to set it up effectively. Then we move on to the benefits of hand expression and how mom needs to know how to properly and effectively be able to remove colostrum or milk with her hands because it really can help with milk volume. The other module is supplementation, and in this module, we're going to look at if we do have to supplement a baby, we want to make sure we're using physiological amounts, if we're using breast milk or donor milk, and we know the reasons why we would need to supplement. Last is key messages, and in this module, we're really looking at therapeutic communication between the nurse and the patient. I felt like Baby Friendly and the steps and working on this has helped us think outside the box. We have a large Burmese population and uh, because of that we decided to have our Burmese interpreter go through the WIC peer counselor training program. And now she brings our Burmese patients on tours, on hospital tours, and prepares them for delivering at the hospital. Since we started the training, we've actually trained more than 1,500 healthcare providers. We've taught people from all over, and we always tell them, you need to partner with your local WIC agency and even get some other hospitals on board so that you have a group and a team effort. And then you can look at the baby-friendly guidelines and you can create the same kind of training in your own facility that really meets your needs. The breastfeeding training that's offered right now in most medical school curriculums leaves something to be desired. And here we are wanting OB-GYNs, family practitioners, pediatricians to help mothers breastfeed and they haven't had the tools and the training necessary to do that. When you have a confident and comfortable nurse at bedside who's been trained in breastfeeding assistance, when that mom has a need, she can address it right away and uh, it's as if you have a whole army out there helping moms with their breastfeeding challenges. <laughs>